Now, the third point. We have the third point, which I want you to understand, is the number you get after squaring a number, or the answer you get. We like that. The answer formed after squaring after squaring a number is called is called a square number we have said that the answer formed after squaring a number is called a square number now we look at examples look at the same examples we have 6 squared which we have said can be written as 6 with a small 2 on top which means you multiply 6 by itself to give you 36 so 6 squared will give you 36 so 36 is the answer this 36 it is the one that we are calling the square number square number a square number is the number you get after squaring a number or the answer you get after you have squared a certain number and we can say that 36 is the square of 6. This one can be written as 36 is the square of 6. We look at 4. 4 squared. 4 squared can be written as 4 with a small 2 on top. This means you multiply 4 by itself. 4 times 4 will give you 16. So 4 squared will give you 16. So 16 is the answer. And this answer is the one that we are calling the square number. So we can write that 16 is the square of 4. The same case applies for 2. 2 squared can be written as 2 with a small 2 on top, which means you multiply 2 times 2 to give you 4. So 4 is the one that is formed when you multiply 2 by itself. Therefore, this one is the one we are calling a square number. And therefore, we can write that 4 is the square of 2. So, that is the three points I want you to understand about squares.